hello friends in this video we are going to discuss about bonds and what all bonds are so bonds are basically they are loans you can say that okay loans however they are totally different from loans in the way they in the way that they are tradable and we cannot trade the loans so tradable in the sense that uh, first of all there is one who is uh, going to like they are bond issuers okay and there are bond investors okay so issuers are those who want the money okay who want the money means they are going to take the loan and investors are those who are going to lend the money so they are like giving them okay then they these two persons are there one is uh, going to give the loan second one is going to take the loan so uh, in the sense that if uh, when a person wants to uh, take the loan then what the person has to do is they has to give a certificate like it is a bond uh, like for example this is a certificate in which i say that i want uh, such x amount of rupees so this is bond so i have to give this bond to the person who is going to give me money when uh, after taking this bond so this is to take the loan the certificates then uh, we say that uh, these are bonds are like bonds are type, type of loan but uh, they are not loan they are not loan as per se so what is the difference so difference is basically they are tradable tradable matlab mm, tradable in the sense that uh, for example uh, i a person a there are three persons a b and the third one is c so the thing is a is a person who has uh, who is giving bond and he wants the loan then c is a third person who is going to uh, give the loan matlab he has the money okay so what uh, in the first instance what is going to take place is that this person a is going to uh, make a bond and give to c in return c is going to give money uh, money to a but uh, now uh, a is over like it is done ab pariyati b and c ki so c has uh, taken that bond but uh, it has a, a some maturity time period like for one year or two year we have given the loan so the money will be after that so what will happen is now the c person is going to give this uh, like he has a money he has the bond but matlab uh, in any type of contingency he wants the money back but a se to nahi le sakta because uh, there is a certain uh, like time period or he he would not be able to give before that time period so what the person is going to do is he is going to trade this bond to the person b so b person b will what uh, b will be like he will take this bond and now he will give money to this c person so hence they are tradable okay now tradable in that sense they are like marketly determined interest is marketly determined okay in the sense uh, i want to bring you back to the one of the slides like i have made yeah why it is not coming so yeah this one so slide in the slide sec in the slide this one i made the like whole pdf itself so we have discussed that what is bond okay then we have also discussed that what is bond is discussed secondly they are tradable they are like loans yes we have done then uh, but they are tradable like shares so shares in the sense that uh, we know the shares shares are tradable also shares are also tradable like in a stock exchange people used to uh, take the share and matlab like, uh, give them and uh, after some returns and do certain things so uh, but they are less riskier than uh, less riskier than the than these shares <clears throat> so firstly we say that uh, bonds are loans okay but they are tradable like shares but they are less riskier than shares because once purchase 
interest rate is fixed and interest rate is market determined uh, i would say that uh, how the interest rate is fixed uh, fixed is de uh, defined as like that for example uh, the bond was of uh, 100 rupees wait i have to take the pencil again so bond was of oh, why so bond was of 100 rupees okay then uh, it has a 10 percent of interest rate for one year so it is uh, to be 100 and uh, 10 by maturity rate it is a maturity rate okay uh, so maturity rate so in between these like the last amount will be 110 and the minimum can go like below 99 can also happen so uh, the agenda of this thing uh, the whole purpose was to understand why they are less riskier we understood the tradable now we are going to understand why they are less riskier so for example the amount was 100 rupees maturity amount is 110 rupees and there is a possibility that sometimes in very less circumstances the thing will go 99 but mostly it will remain in this uh, in this uh, in this range only so it can either be 101 102 or the, at last 110 so if the if we have discussed like person a b and c if this b uh, sorry if this c person who has taken the uh, bond from them a he doesn't need money he just want 110 so he has to wait for one year but in case in any kind of uh, contingency happens he wants to sell it out and wants the money immediately as there is a liquidity crunch in his uh, so called economy so what he is going to do is he he is going to trade this out and give to the b person so b person ke there are uh, two chances either he is able to uh, get this money like um, in 101 101 pe bhi le sakta or he is uh, he can get at 99 also 99 to aise condition aayegi ki c wants any amount of money he gets out but he just need a money to us condition mein 99 aayegi lekin uh, mostly chances hai ki in uh, beech mein hi rahegi 102 103 and that and so on so b ke paas less risky hai also b can also have to wait for uh, like one year so he is going to get the one 110 rupees so it is fixed that 110 is going to be uh, like they are have they they will get this money because it is less riskier and it depends on the maturity level it's all so it's less riskier than shares shares mein kya hota? shares mein like matlab, share is all about like it's it's a prophecy kind of thing matlab ek ek group ke ka share hai to do ka bhi bik sakta hai panch ka bhi bik sakta hai 100 ka bhi bik sakta hai aur 100 wala share ek ka bhi bik sakta hai so there is a no such fix so uh, one thing we understand that bonds are tradable second thing we understand that they are less riskier okay so other than this uh, we have to discuss like they are less riskier than uh, and interest is market determined market determined in the sense that market is going to determine that uh, like the prices of these things like jitni demand hogi uske according demand and supply ke according it will happen and what is bond price bond price will market determined hoga varies between loan amount that we already understood never go below above the maturity value maturity value ke, uh, above to nahi jayega because uh, it's a limit over that and sometimes below it is possible because why below because if the person if uh, the person wants the money like any amount of money he has uh, left he is left with no money so any times he can uh, sell it out below uh, the amount for which he purchased then third question third concept comes is what is a bond yield yield is basically what yield is a uh, term in which we say that what is the like yield is uh, like what we get what we get about some uh, get from something get from something uh, after a period of time like it's a hindi word is upaj upaj matlab ek hum khet ko bote hain aur uske baad uske last mein jo hum milta hai it is known as yield or the the like the exact amount or the net you can say so the exact word was uh, so the exact word is like the net return of the bond okay 
and it is basically the ratio of the interest amount to the bond price it is the ratio like uh, the interest amount interest amount and the bond price is equals to uh, like is proportional to bond yield bond yield okay so this is like that so bond yield is basically bond yield kaise hogi uh, if the prices are less then bond yield is going to be more so iska ek seedha example hai because uh, iska ek seedha example ye ki uh, for instance this is fixed 110 rupees ab ye yield hai bond yield hai तो हमारा द पर्पज़ वॉज वी हैव परचेज इट बाय फोर हंड्रेड रुपीज़ एंड मेचोरिटी वॉज दिस वन सो ये जितना भी कम होगा इफ़ द बॉन्ड प्राइज इज़ लेसर जितना ही ज़्यादा जितना ही ज़्यादा कम होगा उतना ज़्यादा हमें बॉन्ड यील्ड मिलेगी ये जम कम कैसे होगा मतलब कि सो पर्सन हैज़ परचेज इट फॉर हंड्रेड एंड वन सो he is going to get the more amount if a person person has only uh, purchased just for hundred and nine so obviously he is going to get less amount so when bond yield is that concept in which if the prices are lower than the more yield is going to higher and these are all market determined and uh, market determined in the sense that based on the money uh, that a person want or like based on all the opportunity costs the opportunity cost the new word we uh got out is like that uh, for example there is a bond one thing or ek hai mere paas cash in which i am going to have the may, more profit for example bond mein mujhe mil raha hai like 10% ka interest mujhe mil raha hai aur cash mein mujhe kuch nahi mil raha hai i'm not getting anything just a waste of like there is nothing which i am getting aur bond mein mujhe so matlab 100 10% mujhe mil raha hai so obviously uh, i would be going to uh, put my money in the bond rather than being remain it in a cash so my opportunity cost is uh, like my opportunity cost for putting this money in a bond is good like i'm not uh, like i'm not l- losing anything out in putting my uh, cash uh, in putting my money as a cash so opportunity cost is like what cost you lose what cost you lose uh, while putting something in a other way round for example like ag- agar maine bond mein apna paisa rakha hai to uh, I don't have any cash, so इसमें क्या होगा कि for for something I have to wait और cash में मुझे जल्दी से कोई भी चीज़ चाहिए तो directly I am going to take it out, take it. But if in a bond तो मुझे I have to wait like I don't have that liquid. So मेरी opportunity cost क्या थी कि I have to wait for this. So that is the opportunity cost of putting my money in a bond rather than remain in a cash. So इस इन दोनों condition में क्या होगा यही ऑपरचुनिटी कॉस्ट होगी सो बेसिकली द आइडिया वॉज एट हाउ दिस बॉन्ड प्राइजेज आर चेंजेस इट इज़ मार्केट डिटमाइंड मार्केटली डिटमाइंड इन द सेंस इट बेस्ड ऑन द डिमांड एंड सप्लाई ऑफ द मनी सप्लाई सो इफ आई वॉन्ट कैश मुझे अगर कैश में चाहिए होगा इफ आई वॉन्ट कैश तो लाइक दे विल बी नो नो वन इज़ अ बॉन्ड परचेस है सो बॉन्ड प्राइज की बॉन्ड प्राइज लो हो जाएगी और अगर मुझे कैश नहीं चाहिए तो I I am also going to put my uh, money in a bond, so the prices of bond price uh, bond price will be higher. So that was a basic uh, understanding what all is bond and what uh, all questions that can be asked. Okay, so thank you for thank you.